Welcome to a Healing Chambers International program. We're proudly reducing America's healthcare costs by using disruptive innovation. This very strange term, disruptive innovation, was first coined by a professor, Clayton Christensen, said to be by Forbes magazine recently, one of the most influential business theorists of the last 40 years. Cheaper, simpler, or unexpected products and services can bring down big US companies like US Steel, Xerox, and Digital Equipment. Because of recent ill health, he actually spent time looking into a high cost of American health care. And he came to the conclusion, read along with me. He suggests medical procedures to be taken out of the hands of physicians and delivered outpatient at pharmacies and non-hospital settings, since many procedures are processes rather than medical art. And this is what we do and have been doing for a long time. And we're talking about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Mostly used in hospitals, almost 1,300 of them now in the United States have these centers. They're high profit centers and high expense centers too. The equipment is very expensive. In the United States hospitals, only 14 maladies are treated. And these 14 maladies have been ex selected by the Undersea Hyperbaric Medicine Society. We're going to talk about them in a moment. But the average hospital charge for 90 minutes in a chamber to two hours is $1,800. That's a lot of money if you have to come back 30 consecutive days, $54,000. But it's a low price to salvage a limb. Because of the high cost, there are explicit and enforced rules in a hospital setting. Many, many rules. But there's no doubt about it. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy belongs in hospitals for emergency and other uses and Medicare payments. However, 85% of all people that are treated in American hospitals are ambulatory outpatient people. They live at home. They come to the hospital. So while hyperbarics belongs in hospitals, it also belongs in hospital grade freestanding centers. Look at the difference in prices. A freestanding center will charge you about $350 per treatment. So we come to some hard questions. Since most hyperbaric patients are live at home patients, the bottom line there, read it, is HBOT affordable and accessible to you or your medical insurance company? Now remember, hospitals have rules. We're going to give you just two illustrations now. This lady had a crushing amputation of three fingers. She was treated at a healing chamber outpatient center. We'll tell you why in a moment. When they sewed her fingers back together, you'll see she lost one. Unfortunately, gangrene set in. And even though she was one of the 14 approved treatments, she had no insurance. So the surgeon said the quickest and simplest way to look after this patient is to chop all of these fingers back to little stubs. She chose to come to a healing chambers of America. She had 25 treatments. She ended up with a fully functional hand. For less than $9,000 at a freestanding hospital grade center, she saved, or her insurance saved, $36,000.
That is significant. This proves up Professor Christensen's point. Not only that, she saved her professional life because she's a left-handed healthcare worker. Another one. 45 pound, 7 year old Carson Cloyd had leukemia, things went bad, he caught a fungus and he had radical surgery. The oncologist estimated that he would only live five more days. The local hospitals, including the University Hospital, refused to accept Carson as a patient, even though Carson had a full insurance. Uh, even though this mucor was one of the 14 approved UHMS conditions. Carson was sent to a healing chamber center here in San Diego. Here he is, his very first treatment. Look at the face of this little boy. Yes, it's the face of a dying child. Ten days later, look at the face of this little boy. It's the face of a recovering child. Now look at Carson. Three years later, fully recovered from his surgery, but the interesting thing we found is that Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is very, very useful as an adjunct in the treatment of leukemia patients, young and old. And now many, many oncologists, including oncologists at Children's Hospital in San Diego, send their kids and people in crisis to us. And that's an off-label condition. Carson's surgery cost $2.2 million. It's figured that had he had a hyperbaric oxygen therapy right at the outset, it would have been less than half. Because Healing Chambers International do not treat Medicare patients, we don't have to abide by the same rules as hospitals. That means doctors, such as the oncologist we mentioned, can actually send in patients for other ailments that are recognized overseas, but they're not recognized in the United States. Such prescriptions are lawful. Another good thing is, because we're not involved in a hospital, we can negotiate rates with insurance companies and patients. And you'll see that many government departments do negotiate lower rates to save money in these tough fiscal times. Healing Chambers International Centers are exactly the same as a hospital center. We ha obey the same codes. There is always a doctor present at our centers during treatment times. Our chambers are all hospital grade chambers fully cleared by the FDA. Well, what's the reaction of the UHMS? with their 14 maladies. Here's a classic reaction, published April 27th in the San Diego Tribune. And this is from Dr. Ian Grover, who is the head of the University's of San Diego's Hospital's Hyperbaric Department. We'll quote him. Read along with me. There are no scientific or well-designed studies available for maladies other than the approved UHMS maladies. And, he went on in this very large article, hospital-based HBOT centers will say, buyer beware, on off-label maladies as treated in freestanding hyperbaric centers, since, and again he repeats, there are no scientific or well-defined studies on these. Those centers, he ended the article with, give hyperbarics a bad name. Well, sorry, Dr. Grover, we disagree, and so does the professor. Russia has 86 maladies. China treats 83 maladies. There is some beautiful peer review work with well-designed studies coming out of these countries. And these countries are actually collaborating in the United States with a number of medical universities. But this is not unexpected. Let's ask the professor. We want you to remember that the UHMS is not the regulating body. It's just 
a group of physicians, and there are a number of uh, these physician groups about hyperbarics in the United States, this particular group has made some recommendations. They approve this, they approve that, and the Medicare and insurance payers choose to go with those. But listen to what the professor comments about such statements. When a disruptive technological enabler emerges, the leaders in the industry disparage and discourage it. Thanks, Dr. Gower. Then he talks about, not the UHMS, but the regulators. The people who say what can be done. Regulators must beware, therefore, of attempts of leading institutions to outlaw business model of innovation. What is in the interests of society most often does not coincide with the self-perceived interests of the leading institutions. Again, we go back to the, this professor. And again, we comment. Medical procedures are to be taken out of the hands of physicians and delivered outpatient at pharmacies and non-hospital settings, since many procedures are processes rather than medical art. Healing Chambers International is doing just that, providing hospital quality uh, treatments, not for $1,800 per treatment, but for $350 and lower. We're taking this disruptive solution for health care. We're the United States' largest and fastest growing group of hospital quality affiliated freestanding hyperbaric centers. If you are an insurer, if you are a patient and you are looking for low cost on label or off label hyperbarics, you must have a doctor's prescription, but we would be happy to meet with you and discuss things. We would like you to go and look at our testimonial website. My name is Robert Lyon Sands, and I'm the founder of Healing Chambers International. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at this presentation.